YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Let me let me let me turn down the fan right quick. It's it's a little hot. It's a little warm outside too where I'm at. Well, let's get into it, man. Welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you for being here. I do appreciate it. And we're just going to just jump right into it. So, as of this past Friday, today, Sunday, I have been sitting here at the Loves. Not by choice, though. Not by choice. Um, (laughs) If I had a choice, I will be at home right now. Technically, I'm 10 hours away, about another good 10 hours to the entire clock away. Um, Not sure how this week is going to turn out because my 34 already resetted my clock and I got a fresh 70. So you guys want to know how I ended up in this uh, in this little position? Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you right quick. So on the highway, chilling, bumping, listening to music, getting down the highway. Uh, I was in Texas. That was my last load delivery. Got a load out of Austin, Texas, and I'm rolling. I'm good. I'm bouncing. And all of a sudden, y'all know what that noise mean. So got out, check all my tires, and one of my drive tires is flat. Say okay, no problem. I had to call up my uh, breakdown and uh, have somebody to come out here and and take care of it so I can get back on the road. No problem. So I'm I'm on the phone with breakdown, letting them know. They told me, hey, you know, you can you can go ahead and poop scoop up to the loves, which is the next stop. It was like cool, no problem. I you know it was coming up. I was like, all right, cool. So I get up here to the loves, but before I get to the loves, I started to notice that my deaf system starts to act up. So over here saying, yo, lockout man, yo, you only got about an hour to drive before I break down into five miles an hour. And I was like, no, we said, no, we ain't got time for that, bro. We about to go ahead and do a regen. We about to get you back together. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We, we about to get you back together, bro. So don't don't worry about it. We about to hit that region. So I got it up here to the loves, got into a parking spot, and uh, turned on the region. And the region is like, yo, we're unavailable right now. Please call again. It was like, whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold up. I said, I need you to region. So that it can, you know, it can reset the deaf system. So I need you to do something, bruh. Talk to your boy. I said, I need you to do something. I uh, hit the regen again. And it was like, Doo. sorry, regen's unavailable right now. Please call again later. <laughs> I said, God damn. All right. So we couldn't, I, I couldn't manual, I, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't manually regen the truck so since i'm here at the loves i knew that they can force regen the truck so been i I say maybe about 11 o'clock in the morning they didn't get me in until a little bit after five and probably didn't get me out until a little bit after seven i think they they was jumping i mean they they had trucks on top of trucks on top of trucks and i'm like fuck all right, no problem. All right, cool. You know, just get at me. I'm right here. So finally they get me in. I explained to the guy about the, you know, about the death system and everything. They changed the tire. <laughs> you know, they, you know, it's not a it's not a good tire. It's just a tire just enough to get me back, you know, get me back home or whatever. So they put the computer on to see, you know, the die knots, the truck. And the truck came back and told them, like, yeah, you know, it's a deaf system problem, yada, yada, yada. The mechanic here at the Loves is not certified or not familiar with the the deaf thingy or whatever. 
It's like, all right, it was like, is there a way that you can fix it or, you know, at least put a Band-Aid on it so I can at least make it back to Ohio? What's what's the deal? Nah, ain't nothing we can do, you know. Sorry, but at least we changed the tire and we can give you two free shower credits. I was like, cool, I need the shower anyway. So, but the showers, man, don't let me get into what the showers was. I mean, the showers was bumping. Like, I don't know how many showers they got in there, but whatever the case, they had a gang of people waiting. And I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll take my little bird bath and I'll come back in the morning and, and take a shower or whatever. So after all of that, of course, you know, my fleet manager or my uh, breakdown they tell me, yo, hang tight. We got somebody to come out there to look at it. You know, we might have to tow it. We might, you know, we we going through a whole bunch of options right now. And the one option is to get a mechanic, an actual mechanic to come out here to fix the truck on the spot, which old boy did. I mean, he was cool in the gang. You know what I'm saying? He was cool in the gang, got up under there, pulled whatever needed to be pulled, and he got what needed to be fixed. He drove all over the city yesterday. I mean, brother man came at about eight o'clock in the morning, took him maybe about maybe about an hour to, to, to diagnose, find a problem, pull the pulled the problem out. But it took him all day. Like he drove from from pillar to post and back again, trying to find a a a a auto parts store that has what need what what he needs to fix the truck with. Nobody in the area had that park. Nobody, none. Period. So he called my breakdown back. Uh, I gave my breakdown an update, and me and him still going over options. Like, well, you know, uh, we're gonna try and get you home or whatever, whatever. And I was like, you know, it, it is what it is. This is what I signed up for. You know, so after all of that, long story short, he has to go to the Mac dealership, which is about another couple of hours away, a couple of hours in the opposite direction and maybe uh, maybe about three hours in the forward direction. He'll be back Monday to pop the part back in and get me rolling. You see, here's the thing about trucking, man. And I know a lot of you guys come on here talking about, you know, my home time is important. I need to get home and yada, yada, yada. But this is what we signed up for, man. We we signed up for this. We are at, well, me, I'm at the mercy of the truck right now. Yeah, I want to be home. I want to get up out of my bed. I wanted my weekend. I wanted to go see my stepfather. I can't do all of that. I needed to get I needed to get my car e check. I couldn't do none of that because I am at the mercy of the truck. What I'm gonna do? What can I do? I can't do nothing. The truck only goes five miles an hour and that's 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 not gonna work. That's not gonna work. I can't walk around being all huffy and puffy and upset because the truck broke down. Truck break down. Luckily for me, well, luckily and unluckily at the same time, for me, I am here at the Loves. But today is Sunday. Monday, I mean, Friday, Saturday was good. They got some, they got Bojangles up in here, which I am not a fan of. It's it's like a bootleg. Well, I ain't even going to say a bootleg. I'm going to say Chester's Chicken. It's like a bootleg version of Bojangles. Bojangles is like, up on the up uh, one step above Chester's, but still I'm not a fan of them. I, I I'm just not for some odd reason. The chicken just didn't taste good. The macaroni was plain, and and the only thing that was good there was like the tater rounds or whatever the fuck they call them because that was the only thing I ate. But uh, they got they got another place in here which is real good called Petro, not not the Petro that you know, but it's the name. Of the petrol, it's like a potato. It's like a potato place, and they got some huge 
baked potatoes, and they load that bad boy up to the teeth. So I had that yesterday. Today, on the other hand, like I said, today we go up, wake up in the morning, you know, get, you know, pack up everything, get ready to take a shower. Can't do nothing because somebody ran into the power pole, which took out all power in this area. Everything is black. Trucks is waiting in the fuel line to, to, because they can't, you know, they was fueling and all of a sudden the, 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 the pump stopped because somebody crashed into the pole. And of course, you know what that's going to be like. That's going to be an all day affair. Can't use the bathroom, can't go, can't, can't do nothing. So that's that's another problem in itself right there because the, the employees of Love's is not going to let you in. So again, we're at the mercy of the power uh, of the power company to rectify the situation so that we can, you know, take care, you know, our bodily needs, you know, food, shit, shower and shave, and all that other good stuff, man. But it's like I said before, you know, we're we're at the mercy, you know, this this is it. This is what we signed up for. And this is what you guys is going to incur, you new guys. See, this is the stuff that people don't tell you about, the TikTok influencers. They don't tell you about, they don't tell you about stuff like this. They don't tell you about the time where they had an issue and all like that. They don't want to talk about that because, you know, it's negativity. It's, it's not positivity. It's not fun. But this ain't fun, though. This ain't fun. You know, we're 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 here at the Loves. Thirty four hours later, I'm still here at the Loves, at the mercy of the truck. Now I'm at the mercy of who uh, of the power company, so they can get the power back on. I I I tried to look up uh, DoorDash, Grubhub, uh, e even the Uber, and the area where I'm at. Is none of them. Now, they got DoorDash, but, of course, DoorDash is going to be expensive. So if I was to get a McDonald's, instead of costing me $5, it's going to cost me 20 <laughs> One of the guys told me, it was like, yo, since your truck only go five miles an hour and you just want to go down the street, why don't you go ahead and do that? No, bro. Not going to do that. Not going to do that because I, I know the company that I drive for. I know the owner and I know his thought process. So if I move this truck for any reason, that reason got to be this place is on fire reason. That's the only reason I got to move his truck. <laughs> if this place is on fire, then, yeah, I got to put, put my way down somewhere to you know get to a safe spot but but yeah on on moving his truck for any other reason other than that he wants his truck parked until he gets his truck fixed and then we'll go from there so but i just wanted to come on you know and and just let you guys know this is this is part of trucking you know it's nothing that you can do about it you can sit here you can you can you can vent, you can get mad, you can take it out on any and everybody and all like that, but this is trucking. This is the part of trucking that nobody talks about. They don't talk about the breakdown. They don't talk about the situations that you might have to be in a in a, in an area that you can't get food, that you can't get water, that you can't do this and can't do that. But this is part of trucking. This is what you signed up for. So I appreciate you guys listening. Thank you very much. Yo, why don't you hit me off with the HBO special? That's the Help a Brother Out special by hitting that thank, but that thank you button in the video at the bottom of the video. All right. So when you guys hit that, I would appreciate it very much. Until next time, everybody, this is Lockout Men. Thank you. I will come back at you guys with another video. Stay tuned. Only one of the greatest, that is a lawyer, yeah, that is a promise Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest My haters won't always be nameless, give them no clout, I give them no power Creators of different names, and sooner or later, or will be ours I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contact, synchronization To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get angry Present, loaded, observation, I'm not moving, 
Weeble.